What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the Angler versus the PVE Hunting Ground mode, <laughs> doing things like that. Ladies and gentlemen, last time we did use the uh, Flying Fafnir to get a whopping 30 million damage in 205 kills in, free f uh, in this hunting ground. Do you think we can top it maybe with a brand new angler robot? Let's go and find out together. If you haven't yet seen last time's video in the top right corner and also link to the video description and pinned comment, I have it for you. So you can check it out and see how I was able to have the highest damage ever dealt in the game um, with uh, the Fafnir, okay? But now the topic for today is the angler. And uh, by the way, if you like the content and you and also enjoy me figuring out different ways to play this free fall, uh, no, not free fall, this PVE mode, then subscribe please to the channel if you haven't done it yet because I know for a fact only 50% of you guys out there watching have actually subscribed. And I don't understand. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's keep having fun here. 13 kills so far, it's like nothing, okay? One minute gone and we only did 15 kills. That's pretty, pretty, pretty bad actually, but it's just the beginning. There aren't even that many enemies and we killed all of them for a second, right? So now we're coming in. The right, By the way, the reason I went with um, with Skelt and, uh, and Incinerator is I thought, hey, what if we have splash damage not only on the battleship, because we're using the Orion battleship this time immediately. What if we have splash damage on all our weapons too? Like I'm doing here. I'm having splash damage now with these uh, with the area effect that the angler has, obviously. And then next uh, we have splash damage on triggering the bump effect meter. So every time that bump effect fills up right now, it, tr it triggers an explosion and gets rid of some of these enemies. And then when they, they get, that get too close, I can just use the angler ability and then at the last second just run away. Problem is when there's only one enemy like this, um, then it's, oh my gosh, look how much damage we just lo took. We got hit by three Zenith rockets and we're almost destroyed, holy smokes. Guys, Pixonic, these things are doing so much damage. I feel like they do way too much damage. Now my legs are damaged too, I believe, and that's why I can no longer walk as fast. However, with the activation of the ability, I can walk faster. All right, so let's splash. Bum, 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 bum. Get this guy out of the way. We're back to 200,000 HP, but we are occasionally getting hit by a rocket. And I'm deciding to end these freaking Zenith dudes, because these are really the most dangerous thing. Everything that's around me I can kill with my ability like this, see? No problem. Living legend, living legend, living legend, everything dies. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, but the things that I can't deal with are these dudes. They are just too powerful with their firepower. As long as I walk, I don't think I get hit. Only very rarely I get, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's... This is the problem here, these stupid things. So I'm getting in, I'm destroying them as best as I can, but you see the damage output of Scout and Incinerator is horrible. It's so freaking low. Activating the ability here, going in, pop, 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 everything dies. Everything dies immediately. I love this, man. The, the ability is so good against these spiders. And obviously it's also good against um, all regular players as well on the live server. The Angler is, in fact, a very powerful machine. Uh, but the big problem here is uh, is the firepower. So I'm already planning ahead. I'm already having an idea in my head what we need to do for the second attempt. Let's see how far we get with the first one uh, with the Angler. But I think we can definitely optimize this by having a better weapon setup on this one. I thought it was a good idea to go with the blast effect uh, incinerator and skelt. Um, but it turns out the focus firepower is not good enough. It's good when they're all standing together, but it's not good when... Ah, these freaking Zenith guys. Ugh. Yeah, so I only got 70 kills. Hmm. All right, let's jump into the, uh, into the, the, um, the Mars robot. How, how good do you think the turret will be? Aha! It's not bad, but I think the turret doesn't actually do a lot of splash damage. And uh, there are no pilot skills also in the, on the test server right now, so we can't make, uh, we can't benefit from pilot skills at all. So if we could, I would build a behemoth and, uh, and uh, give the behemoth uh, the explosive expert skill and avalanche. And we would just obliterate the whole map, right? Um, but there are no pilot skills right now, and so we can't use the explo explosive expert skill on the behemoth just yet. We need to wait for pilots to come into the test server or for um, 
excuse me, or for um, the uh, hunting ground to reach the live server again. And when that happens, I can test this for you, and I will! So you'll get this gameplay as soon as it becomes possible. That is a promise. But, for now, we have to do the best we can with what we have here. And the Blitz, uh, no, the, the Mars robot is actually fast. It's really fast. Um, we can do a lot of damage with this thing. Uh, the Fainters might not be the best choice. Also, I haven't even equipped this robot. It doesn't have the uh, nuclear amplifier. Uh, because um, it was a basic uh, setup made by Pixonic. And I don't understand, Pixonic, if you're spending time to put things on the test server, something I often wondered, why don't you just put them in the right, st uh, right module setup immediately? Why do you make us do this every time for ourselves on the test server? You know that every robot in this game needs a nuclear amplifier. Because you don't want to play without it anymore. It, it's up to 70% additional damage output for only one module with resistance breaking, instant heal at max uh, uh, st streak. Um, so yeah, it's it's an it's a must-have. So put it on every robot, please. Also, uh, we, I, I'm sure most people would run the uh, repair amplifier now and then maybe anti-control when they play the fight against players. But on the test server, it's not so important because, um, um, yeah, so maybe you could go with, amp with all three amplifiers and and then we don't have to do all the modules sw switching every single time. Just a suggestion here to save us some time, right? Also here, wow, I get hit by two or three Zenith shots. I already lost one third of my Kepri. And a Kepri has a lot of HP, man. Those those Zeniths, I think they do too much damage. Uh, and uh, one thing I'm wondering is, uh, are the enemies getting more HP as the game progresses? Because look how long it takes me to kill one of these normal weakling spiders. It takes me forever just to kill one of them now with four map weapons. I get the feeling that maybe as the match progresses, they get more HP. Is this possible? Anyways, you can clearly see we only have four seconds left to go. The angler has not done its job just yet, but I'm switching off to a different weapon setup and that's when it's going to get better. Every time I'm refining my skills and coming up with better ways to do it, 15 million damage is only half the damage we did with the Fafnir last time, remember? Um, so, I'm switching off to, and I was thinking, what, which weapon has a short reload has splash damage and uh, and de deals do decent damage and it turns out there is no such weapon there is no weapon in the game that has splash damage like rockets do but has a short fixed reload claw jaw and talon would be this but they don't really have splash damage no noticeable splash damage and then i thought okay flamethrowers possibly but they travel too slow and uh, they reload too long so they're not really up to date anymore and then i thought okay let's test Let's test uh, Toxic, Venom, and uh, and Bane. Because these weapons actually have splash damage, they even add corrosion damage to it, and they have a short fixed reload. So it might be just the thing I was looking for. It's not perfect, I wish there was a weapon like Exodus or uh, Cryo and Orkins or something that actually deals a lot of damage and reloads quickly with a fixed reload, but there's no such thing. So we're using... Um, the toxic weapons and I'm testing around how much I need to hit these guys now to finish them off with um, with the toxic um, corrosion and I'm getting better at it I'm good I'm tr because I don't want to waste firepower I need to figure out how much exactly I need to fire at them and when I could switch to a new target knowing the previous target is going to die it's all about min maxing right that's how we call it in uh, in in many games it's called min maxing it's trying to max out every little thing and detail that you do uh, to the point where it gets as effective as possible. Not wasting any shots, not wasting reload time, not wasting anything. And um, yeah, so we're min-maxing all everything here, waiting for all these spiders to come in, and now we're using the um, angler ability, going right through all these guys right around us. Pop, everything dies, living legend, easy. Let's make the loud volume a little louder. And uh, I'm still in good health, right? I have a lot of health still. I am sometimes getting hit by a Zenith rocket, but um, uh, it's uh, I'm still in good standing. So, uh, and uh, can we make first place, I guess, is the question with the angler. Because I'm pretty sure you've already seen we're not going to beat the Fafnir here. The Fafnir just did it, did it way better. But can we score first place with just one angler? That is the question. And um, I'm sure you, uh, you you wonder the same thing, and the answer might surprise you. So let's go for it. 
So far, we only gotten 50 kills. That's, it's, it looks like nothing, but so far, the game isn't spawning in a lot of enemies, right? As the game progresses, there's going to be more and more enemies coming in, and uh, we are able to do more and more killing very quickly, getting like 20 kills in just five seconds and stuff like this. So that's going to happen, okay? Let's stay with it. This guy's gonna die from the corrosion, more and more spiderlings coming in. And the you can see I can actually in inflict damage to multiple targets at the same time. Here, I'm focusing right in, and I'm hitting most of these spiderlings at the same time. Okay. Uh, thankfully, that is just an anti-air. Okay, we're using the ability now. Boom. Going in, killing everything around us, scoring up to 70, 65 kills really quickly here. All right, I have to heal up, taking damage. But we've gotten rid of everything that's behind us. Now we have only enemies in front of us coming in. I guess I should. Ne I need to take care of these Sinit uh, launchers. These Sinit guys are just doing too much damage now. If I just stay sta stand still for one second, I get pretty much instant kill, uh, in instantly killed. So we can't do this. Also, once I come, uh, when I come out of my angler ability, I will be stationary for a second, right? Because I'm standing here dealing damage to everybody around me, so I'm coming out of the ability, and I will often get hit immediately by the Sinites. So I'm now focusing these Sinites. I need to get rid of them. At the same time, I cannot allow myself to get hit by uh, these, uh, yeah, by these short-range area effect uh, things that fire something like a cinder. Um, these little spider weaklings. But they're actually very dangerous when they get close. Now, we have airstrike ready. I'm sending the airstrike in to slow enemies, and now we're using the angler ability to try and get these Sinites killed. But as you see, these things have so much HP, they don't actually die from this. It's crazy, they have so much HP. Uh, we've gotten rid of uh, some of those, I think four of them we killed. But this guy, he needs to go. Healing up. Okay. Um, pop, 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 pop. The corrosion killed the other thing in front of behind me. Nice. All right, all right, all right. Things are looking good. We already have 100 kills, and we have two minutes left. So I guess we can already safely assume, and as long as I don't die, we can get that first place. But the question is, can I make it? Can I stay alive? Because look, I'm coming out of the ability now, and I have so many of them right in front of me. Ooh, that's dangerous, right? Oh man, and the Sinites are landing shots too. Air striking to get myself some some room to breathe, because uh, the air strike slows them down. Um, it seems like the Pixonic is also adjusting the um, accumulation rate of the battleships, because I think last time I was able to launch battleships in like a second, every couple of seconds I was able to launch battleship strikes, and now it's no longer this easy and this quick. Oh, that reload comes in at a very bad time. Wait, you're behind me too? Alright, let's splash right in. Look, I'm hitting everything in front of us. And that's the good thing about these weapons. They do have a little splash radius. Uh-oh. No, I got hit by Sinitz and I lost two weapons. One of them being the heavy version. Uh-oh. Alright, 130, 135. That is a lot of kills we've been able to achieve already with this one single angler. And I'm down, die, dying now. If I had the ability now, I could save it, but here we go. 134 kills with one angler. I challenge you, ladies and gentlemen, to try and get more kills with one angler only. Um, I'm sure it's possible, but I think it's not going to be super easy. All right, so if you guys want a challenge, do it. And, uh, and, uh, and tell me how many kills you've gotten in the comment section. Uh, the test server is not only going to be avail available now, the test server will also uh, come active um, uh, every few hours for a few hours, so you have opportunity throughout this weekend to test this and to get more kills if you want, okay? 134 was my result. So, I'm coming in now here with the, uh, with the stove ability of the Titan, air striking these guys and using the stove ability to try and get a couple of kills. Yes, and we were actually getting a good amount of kills with this. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately most of them are still alive and uh, these freaking Sinead things they kill a Titan even in a matter of seconds It's crazy. Look at this. I can't even move fast enough to get out of this range. It's nuts Seven seconds left on the clock. Is that enough to get one more kill? E no <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't enough for one more kill. First place though, but we reached it just with the angler 21 
million damage done. 20, yeah, 21 million damage done. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think and how much you uh, made it. Uh, also, if you like the content, subscribe, please, and uh, catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Money signing off. Bye-bye.